I came to work for Indiana University in 1980, and when I arrived here, Kurt Simic's name was well known. He had worked for the Indiana University Foundation itself and then left and spent time at Yale, Tennessee, and he was vice president of the University of Oregon and vice president of the University of California, Berkeley. There were about eight of us, and we came from all over the country. What I do remember was that there was an incredible warmth and an incredible welcome. He created an environment where we could all come together and put the best into the team that you possibly could. There are a couple of quotes that Kurt uses constantly. Wherever we go, caring hands have preceded us. He attributes this to George Bernard Shaw. And then another quote from William Boyd, the president emeritus of the University of Oregon, philanthropy and scholarship are separately among the most powerful influences shaping our future. Together, their power to improve the human condition is unsurpassed. Kurt recognizes that uh, philanthropy is something that has made all of our lives better. I think he genuinely knows in his heart that these institutions are places where family is built, and it's our responsibility to nurture them in every generation. Kurt has actually seen his own children follow him into this arena. He's also taught a lot of us he is a person to whom many people trying to build a career in this field can look for mentorship and guidance. The Big Ten Fundraisers Institute has been one of the greatest professional experiences I've had the privilege of attending. Kurt's leadership at a conference like this really is remarkable. You can see his wisdom entering into people's consciousnesses on a daily basis. He was a bike rider when he was an undergraduate here at Indiana University. There's a tradition here, the Little 500. You may have seen it in the movie Breaking Away. He was a member of the Student Foundation that raises money for scholarships, and Kurt was a part of all of that. I think his heart was always at Indiana. It's where he started. It's where he earned his degree. It's where he became an adult. And to be able to have the opportunity to serve it again and to go back as its leader, that was the ultimate calling. The thing I think about most often when I think about him is if philanthropy really is an act of the heart, an act of love, he performs this work exactly that way. His commitment to each university that he's served, his commitment to each staff member he's ever had, to every professional relationship he's maintained, and it's legions and legions of people. He has a personal warmth and a touch that is truly uncommon, and it's just a remarkable gift. If every single one of us can do one-tenth of what he's done, we'll add exponentially to this field. But he's really the supreme leader of all of it.